The 1970s were not widely known for music that exuded elegance and subtle charm. Often dubbed the Me Decade by pop historians, this era was characterized by widespread self-indulgence, particularly in music, which often mirrored the period's intense exploration of sexuality. However, amidst the rise of disco and punk, a few pop rock acts managed to carve out a space for listeners to pause and savor life. One such act was England Dan and John Ford Coley. Though often remembered as a mid-70s sensation, and sometimes mistakenly thought of as a one-hit wonder, the duo actually achieved six top 40 hits, with four reaching the top 10, over a span of just four years. Their story began much earlier, during their high school years in Dallas, Texas, in the early 60s. Dan Seals, who would later find success as a country artist in the 1980s, was born in McCamey, Texas, in 1948, into a musically gifted family. His father, E.W. Waylon Seals, was not only a pipe fitter for Shell Oil, but also a guitarist and bassist who had played with bands led by legends like Ernest Tubb and Bob Wills. Dan picked up the upright bass at the tender age of four and soon began performing with his family's band. His older brother, Jim Seals, had a notable career with the Champs from 1958 through the mid-60s, and other family members, including Eddie Seals, Chuck Seals, Troy Seals, Brady Seals, and Johnny Duncan, were all accomplished musicians in their own right. John Colley, a classically trained pianist, attended the same school as Dan, and the two joined forces in various local cover bands, such as Playboys Five and Thez A Few. Their first attempt at recording success came in Nashville as the Shimmerers, but their hopes were dashed when their producer passed away before securing a record deal. Their breakthrough came as part of the group Southwest FOB, where Seals played saxophone and sang, while Kali played keyboards. The band, blending rock and R&B, gained popularity in Dallas and even charted with the single Smell of Incense in 1968. However, Seals and Kali soon realized their musical direction was diverging from that of the band. They began performing acoustic sets together, eventually leading to their formal partnership. Originally performing as Kali and Wayland, they soon rebranded as England Dan and John Ford Coley, a name suggested by Dan's brother Jim Seals. The name England Dan was inspired by Dan's brief obsession with the Beatles and a faux English accent he adopted in 1964. The name change proved to be a stroke of marketing genius, catching the attention of audiences, programmers, and reviewers alike. The duo signed with A&M Records in 1970, thanks to guitarist Louis Shelton, who had connections with Herb Alpert. Their first two albums, produced by Shelton, had limited commercial success but showcased the sound that would later define them. After parting ways with A&M in 1972, they spent four years without a record deal, during which time they continued performing and Coley contributed to Seals and Croft's albums. Their fortunes changed in 1976 when they recorded a demo of Parker McGee's song, which led to a contract with Big Tree Records. Their 1976 single, I'd Really Love to See You Tonight, became a massive hit, reaching number two on the pop charts and selling two million copies. This success, however, led many to mistakenly believe they were one-hit wonders. Their subsequent hits, including Nights Are Forever Without You, continued to showcase their diverse musical talents, blending pop rock, country rock, and topical songs. By the late 1970s, England, Dan, and John Ford Coley faced increasing pressure to conform to the changing musical landscape dominated by disco and punk. Their 1978 album, Some Things Don't Come Easy, yielded another top 10 hit, but it became evident that the duo was struggling to maintain their identity amid these industry demands. Despite this, they continued to produce heartfelt music that resonated with listeners who longed for a slower, more reflective pace of life. The duo eventually parted ways in 1980 after releasing a Greatest Hits album. Dan Seals went on to become a successful country artist, while John Ford Coley withdrew from the spotlight, but later returned to performing. Their music, marked by beautiful harmonies and poignant lyrics, continues to evoke nostalgia for a simpler, more innocent time, capturing a unique moment in the musical history of the 1970s.